So the next record I'm showing you comes from Israel and uh, probably one of the coolest artists from Israel, which would be Kutiman. Um, Kutiman usually makes music that is certainly more jazzy than this and a lot of jazz funk, very groovy music. Um, in this case, this is a bit different. This album is called Don't Hold Onto, Cl Onto the Clouds and uh, is uh, to some extent almost an ambient album but uh, um, also on a nice blue vinyl I don't show so much color vinyl records on my channel because usually I don't care that much for color I kind of like my vinyl black but uh, sometimes I do enjoy it um, so um, again this is a mostly electronic ambient album but it has a certain it has a certain propensity for groove and rhythm um, there are some actually kind of nice kind of organ organ synth parts uh, happening and overall it's pretty pleasant this is the type of album you just start to play it and it's just wonderful from beginning to the end half an hour later you look up and the album is over and you wonder where has the time passed so um, this is certainly the type of record that uh, can help me to get through the day and i mean the great thing about this type of music is that it does not uh, it does not stick in your memory as easily as rock and pop music does so uh, this type of music has a tendency to stay much longer fresh and kind of interesting and engaging uh, for you uh, for a much longer time than uh, usual, usually a rock album would do because uh, with uh, with music that is built on uh, on hook lines and and refrains and stuff like that um, there is always a little bit of the problem that uh, repetition can kind of breed contempt so um but um, i'm already rambling so this is kutiman don't hold onto the clouds um, quite a wonderful, mostly electronic, experimental, atmospheric album. So, uh, still some more records to go. Are you with me? Um, this one, again, interesting story. Um, this is an album called The Electronic Tapes by Ahmed Malek and Flaco. Now, uh, this has a bit of a story. Um, so, Ahmed Malek was a artist from Algeria um, who I think came there to prominence mostly in the 70s and 80s um, and uh, who I think mostly lived in the city of Algier and was a composer and producer of music for the local television um, and uh, he uh, mostly worked with orchestras and wrote music that uh, had a kind of orchestral jazzy vibe, but at the same time was probably deeply reflecting uh, the music of uh, North Africa and traditional music. But um, he seemed to have a bit of uh, experimental electronic phase uh, for a short period of his life. and um, But he never released or not even kind of fully realized that. And... Um, Coincidentally, um, somebody had discovered a whole box of the tapes, of kind of a cuts of, of, of different takes and experiments he had done with these synthesizers, basically only musing and coming up with ideas. And uh, so uh, this uh, Berlin-based artist Flaco just uh, picked it up and uh, started to listen through all these tapes seems i mean if you take if you look at the numbers here there are like tape 23 and tape 27 so uh, this was probably a lot of music to listen to through and he kind of started to extract the best parts of all these experiments and efforts and um, started to shape an album out of it without adding too much of his own uh, stuff to the result so um, so I think this was probably the artistic challenge uh, to to contain the integrity of the original artist while at the same time you had to 
kind of help it along a bit so it becomes more coherent as a as an entire result as an album so it's it's really interesting uh, a lot of interesting themes there it's uh, what you would call an electronic experimental music uh, that is very much uh, entangled with uh, themes and ideas uh, from uh, north african traditional music which in itself makes it quite uh, original because those two things uh, don't encounter each other that much so um so it's certainly one of those uh, kind of strange albums uh, that one would not uh, listen to every day uh, but it comes with ni very nice liner notes and that uh, kind of tell the whole story and um, again i really like this type of records that are a bit of an expedition and a bit of a discovery um talking about discovery i have probably shown i've certainly shown this record here um this is uh the album atmospheres by uh, piero umiliani piero umiliani uh, was a uh, composer from italy that uh, worked a lot in the 60s and 70s and 80s and um, he kind of existed on two separate playing fields on the one hand he did he enjoyed uh, kind of make this analog synthesizer electronic space music um, this year um, again nice blue vinyl um, this was my first album that I found uh, with Piero Miliani called Atmospheres and um, so I was really intrigued what more he had done um, and uh, right now there seems to be a kind of a time when uh, his music is being rediscovered and uh, a lot of his albums are being released again so I said that he had like two uh, artistic uh, personalities and one of them was uh, so this experimental electronic music. Um, the other one was uh, he was a composer uh, of uh, kind of mostly B-movies, a lot of kind of erotic, soft erotic movies of the early 70s. So uh, that's kind of a charming chapter in itself. Um, the other album I have by... Piero Umiliani is the Luomo Nello Spazio, which came out in the early 70s, 1972, I think. So um, it's, if, you, if you like early 70s uh, synthesizer sounds, sort of analog synthesizer sounds, then uh, you will certainly enjoy this one. Um, so this is like a uh, soundtrack to some imagine, imaginary uh, 60s uh, science fiction movie. Um, here with a nice photograph of Umiliani. Uh, so uh, I wanted to get into his uh, soundtrack music as well. So this is a soundtrack to a movie called La Ragazza dalla Pelle di Luna. Um, so uh, certainly um, the music sounds exactly as the cover looks. So this is orchestral music, kind of jazzy, uh, very cute, uh, very uh, not shy with uh, musical cliches, um, because uh, this was a yeah, this was a a job, um, and uh, of course, uh, in hindsight, uh, you look at this uh, with a certain sense of nostalgia, of course, and uh, uh, this kind of a retro music uh, has reached. A completely different new level of charm that people probably would not hear in it uh, 40 years ago but uh, that's how it sometimes goes with music yeah so uh um and since i was in this kind of exotica mood um i uh because i haven't heard this album for such a long time i gave a listen to this one abilities by Francis Lai. So this was this kind of uh, softcore erotic uh, movie by David Hamilton. Um, yeah, and uh, it's always very interesting to listen to this type of music. I mean, it's a kind of a, it's a kind of a different take on on uh, on uh, musical wallpaper than uh, you usually experience with ambient uh, but uh, in a sense it kind of goes uh, in a similar direction albeit it sounds completely different um yeah and then i've just two records left here and then i can uh, uh,
finish it. Um, this one I've shown before probably more than once, but I really like it. Um, this is Pacific. Um, this is a album from Japan that came out in the second half of the 70s. Um, a project led by none other than Harumi Hosono. But together with uh, Tatsuro Yamashita and Shigeru Suzuki, uh, sharing the, not only the writing respons responsibilities here, but also bringing a lot of uh, interesting musicians into the studio. Um, so you can, you can hear a lot of uh, cool people here. Um, um, I mean, uh, Ryuchi Sakamoto is playing on here, etc. Now, I always knew that this is uh, that there were like two records of this kind, that uh, it was more like a double feature, that there was another one released uh, just a year later. But I never bought the other one simply because um, it was always a bit expensive, honestly. Um, but finally, this one had been re-released as well. So I finally got it and it's the Aegean Sea. Um, that is uh, recorded again with Haruomi Hosono, Takahiko Ishikawa and Masataka Matsutoya. Um, and yeah, this goes of course in the similar kind of exotica direction. Kind of a beautiful, charming uh, wallpaper music uh, that immediately makes you think of uh, summer and vacation and uh, just uh, as the cover picture promises. So. Um, that's all for now and um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this. I hope I was not rambling too much. I know it's terrible. So um, <laughs> have a nice day and uh, enjoy the summer.